So when I was very young, I had two puberty false alarms. I developed poison ivy and later chicken pox on my face and thought I was getting the puberty. After a while, I forgot all about that. I mean, when you're a little kid, there are a lot of other things on your mind than the horrors of becoming a hairy, acne-covered monstrosity. Don't get me wrong, after the false alarms, I did keep an eye out for the onslaught for quite a while. But after a reasonable time period passed, again, other more immediate thoughts resumed occupation in my mind. Things like the weirdness of some of our studies at school, playing with my friends, dealing with my little sister, who was now developing opinions. You know, the usual things that go on in a young kid's life. Eventually, puberty did catch up with me. It was the average time. I woke up and discovered something living on my face. At first, I thought it was poison ivy like before. I ignored it and went about my day. When I looked in the mirror, I noticed it had grown and it didn't itch. Yup, it was acne. A pimple. A carbuncle. A shanker. A zit. My friend Chuck had a thousand of them on his face. His mother had taken him to the doctor because it was so bad. He was given some special medication to put on his face, and it helped out a lot. Was this the fate that awaited me? I wondered what I should do. I washed my face with extra soap and water that night. I dabbed alcohol on for a good measure. The next morning, I woke up, and as I brushed my teeth, I discovered that not only was it still there, it had grown larger still, and it had a friend. Ew. Okay, I needed to go to the doctor. No way did I want to have the same problem as poor Chuck. It was best to nip the problem in the bud and get whatever had helped him. I told my mom that I needed an appointment with the doctor. Oh, are you sick, bud? Mom asked as she got ready for work. Sort of, I said. I have acne. You don't need to see a doctor for that, she said as she continued to pack up papers and her laptop. But I do, I persisted. Chuck had to go to the doctor for his acne. Mom looked at my face. Jason, I don't see anything other than two little pumples. That does not matter to dermatologist. Dermatologist? There's an actual doctor who specialized in acne? Maybe I should go before it gets that bad, I said. Aren't preventative measures the most effective? We had learned about preventative measures such as not smoking, wearing sunblock, and exercises, as well as healthy eating. Visiting a dermatologist sounded like a good preventative measure. There is no way to prevent acne, Mom said. Let's just wait to see what happens. Some kids get a lot of acne. Like your friend Chuck, some hardly get any. That sounded a bit lax to me, but I decided to follow Mom's suggestion. At school, I couldn't help but check the mirror. They were still there. In all my classes, I was certain that people were staring at me. I was sure that whoever talked to me was actually talking to my acne. How could they not see them? I was sure that my friends were just polite. I checked in the mirror again at lunch. Yup, still there. I know that I was behaving like one of those vain girls that I did not like who were always looking at themselves in the mirror. At home, I checked the mirror again. Now there were three. This was awful. I had never felt self-conscious. I was healthy. I was naturally athletic. My grandparents all said so. People liked me. Now I had zits. The next day, there were four. The original one on my forehead, its friend directly next to it, one on my chin, and a new one on my cheek. The one on my chin was massive. I had to do something to cover it up. My mom sometimes wore something called cover-up. I dug in her makeup drawer and found the little vial. I carefully applied the cover-up. There. That didn't look so bad. I put a little bit on each of the other pimples. Not too bad at all. Or so I thought. In homeroom, while talking, 
I noticed Alex looking at me funny. Jason, she said in a low voice. Are, are you wearing makeup? N no, I said. I wasn't really. I was just wearing a little cover-up. Its purpose was to cover stuff up, right? What is that splotch? She pointed at my ginormous eyesore living on my chin. Did you put cover-up on? Okay, I said. Yes, I put some of my mom's cover-up on a zit. Well, on four zits. Jason, Alex said, still speaking quietly, which I was thankful for because I didn't want people knowing I had makeup on to cover up my zits. Somehow, that sounded even worse than having acne. First of all, that is the wrong color. Second of all, that will make them worse. What? The oils that are in the cover-up will clog your pores even worse, and you'll get more zits from it. I ran into the bathroom and scrubbed my face. Looking in the mirror, I now saw that I looked blotchy. Crap. In class, Alex said that she thought I looked better without the makeup. I asked for suggestions about acne care. Alex gave me a list of products to get and told me what to do to keep the acne at bay. One was a soap. One was a toner. Toner? Wasn't that a woman thing? Well, if it worked, I would try it. That weekend, I went with my mom to the store, and we purchased all the things on Alex's list. My mom seemed amused, but she helped me find everything. As soon as I got home, I washed my face and aggressively applied the toner stuff. Then I did it again before I went to bed. When I woke up the next morning, I didn't look quite so blotchy. The pimples looked a little smaller. I felt a little better. I used those products religiously. Luckily, I never had a breakout like poor Chuck. After a while, I really didn't care about the acne as much as I had when I first discovered it. The hair growing on my face was another challenge, though. My first reaction to acne sounds melodramatic to my adult self. However, I remember how horrified I felt about it. I remember how self-conscious kids can be, and how unkind some kids can be. I also know that when I have kids, I will help them navigate the challenges presented by puberty as my parents did, with patience and humor and compassion. I will never forget how that felt. Hey, thank you for watching. Please click on the right to subscribe if you like the video. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon when you subscribe so that you can be notified when we upload a new video. Watch more videos on the left, including our playlist. Thank you.